we have discussed the methods of integration. So, now let us discuss integration by parts, integration by parts, integration by parts. integration by parts. So, integration by parts means whenever we come across these kind of functions, let us consider x sin x or log x or sin inverse x or x cube of some tan inverse x. So, how to find out integral of these functions? So, these functions we cannot find out using substitution method. So, we have to follow integration by parts. Suppose this function is f of x, this function is g of x, it is a product of two functions. Then the formula is given by suppose two functions f of x and g of x are two integral functions defined on i, then integral of f of x g of x dx that means product of two functions is given by now f of x into integral of g of x dx minus integral of d by dx of f of x and integral of g of x dx and dx. Now, here one question will arise. How to choose the f of x? How to choose the g of x? Or this statement can be actually restated as first function into second function integral dx is equal to first function integral of second function minus integral of derivative of first function integral of second function dx. So, that means how to select the first function, how to select the second function. That means we have to follow one rule, that rule is LIATE rule. LIATE rule. LIATE rule means L stands for logarithmic functions, logarithmic, logarithmic functions, I stands for inverse trigonometric functions, inverse trigonometric functions. Now, A stands for algebraic functions. Now, T stands for circular trigonometric or hyperbolic trigonometric trigonometric functions and E stands for exponential functions exponential functions exponential functions means e power x or a power x so using this rule we have to select the first function first function means f of x the f of x we have to select using this LIATE rule. L stands for once again logarithmic function, logarithmic function means log x, log of 2 x plus 3 and vice versa. Inverse trigonometric functions sin inverse x, cos inverse x, tan inverse x, secant inverse x and vice versa and such as algebraic functions means x, x square, x cube trigonometric functions sin x, cos x, tan x and sin h x, cos h x, exponential functions e power x or a power x. Using integration by parts, let us find out some integrals of some standard functions. So, now first one, integral of sin inverse x dx. sin inverse x dx. 
Now, here solution i is equal to integral this sin inverse x dx, this is inverse function already we have discussed L i A T E rule inverse function first and algebra function that is why first you write down this one as sin inverse x into 1 into d x write down. This is the first function f of x, this will be f of x, this will be g of x. Now, first function sin inverse x integral of second function 1 d x is d x minus integral derivative of sin inverse x is 1 by root of 1 minus x square and integral of d x and d x. So, now sin inverse x integral of d x is x. So, x sin inverse x minus integral this will be x by root of 1 minus x square d x. Now, the 1 minus x square differentiation is minus 2 x. So, multiply with minus of multiply with minus 2 and divide by minus 2. This we can write x sin inverse x plus of integral of minus 2 x by root of 1 minus x square d x. Now, here if you say f of x is equal to 1 minus x square this will be f dash x. So, we have the formula integral f dash x by root f of x d x this equal to 2 root f of x plus constant of the integration. This can be written x sin inverse x plus of is 2 root of 1 minus x square 2 2 gets cancelled. So, x sin inverse x plus root of 1 minus x square plus constant of integration. Next, to find integral of cos inverse x dx, evaluate integral of cos inverse x dx. Let us say i equals to integral of cos inverse x into 1 dx. Now, this is inverse trigonometry function, this is algebraic function. This comes first, this comes second. This is f of x, this is g of x. So, first function integral of second function minus derivative of first function is minus 1 by under root of 1 minus x square and integral of second function and whole dx. Now, this is integral of dx is x, x cos inverse x and minus this will be x minus x by root of 1 minus x square dx. So, 1 minus x square differentiation is minus 2 x multiply by 2 divide by 2. This we can write x cos inverse x minus half integral of minus 2 x root of 1 minus x square d x. 1 minus x square derivative is minus 2 x. This is in the form of integral f dash x by root f of x d x. This is 2 root f of x plus constant of integration. So, we write x cos inverse x and minus 1 by 2 into 2 root of 1 minus x square 2 2 gets cancelled x cos inverse x minus root of 1 minus x square plus constant of integration. Let us find out integral of tan inverse x now. So, next third one integral of tan inverse x dx solution 
integral tan inverse x 1 dx write down. First function is tan inverse x, second function is algebra function 1, 1 means x power 0. So, now this can be written first function tan inverse x, second function is dx minus derivative of tan inverse x 1 by 1 plus x square integral of dx and whole dx. Now, this is x, x tan inverse x and minus x by 1 plus x square integral of dx is here x now dx. 1 plus x square derivative is 2 x. So, multiply by 2 divide by 2 x tan inverse x minus 1 by 2 integral of 2 x by 1 plus x square dx. Now, you can observe 1 plus x square differentiation is 2 x. This is integral f dash x by f of x dx. This is log mod f of x plus c. Now, this is equal to x tan inverse x minus of log mod 1 plus x square plus constant of integration.